Let's get it. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. <sighs> so if a guy approach you and he says, "So okay, what you doing? What you? How you handle this scenario?" If a, a man approach a girl and the girl says, you just trying to get in my pants, how did the guy respond to that, though? He should just walk away. Huh, he smart move. That's what he's there for. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's just disrespectful right off gate. That's just assuming. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. Totally agree. Okay, okay. Uh, so Lil Nas X went viral for a video he did recently. Have you seen it? I've seen clips of it. I've uh, seen clips of it. You got a video of him on a cross. Uh, what's your thoughts on that word, though? It's my God. I don't like it. Yeah, yeah, it's very unusual. It is, it is, it is. And unfortunately, the music industry, that's all they're about right now, it is is the satanic worship. Facts, 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 facts. Why do you feel like he's being protected? Though? I feel like certain groups are being protected, especially if you that uh, that ilk right there. They protect you. And you can't say nothing about that particular group. And don't say it because, uh, yeah, don't say it. You know what I'm saying? It's the powers that be. But that particular group, you can't say nothing about or they will ban you. Or they would cancel you. Right? Oh, really? Yeah, you can't say nothing about that particular group. I didn't know that. Mm. I ain't know that. Right. Are you are you a Lil Nas X fan? Not really. Would you let? Do you think children should listen to Lil Nas X? Not really. Okay. Why do you think he got a huge fan base? Uh, probably because of the community that he's a part of, maybe. Uh, community. Yeah, it's, I call it the go along, get along game. There you go. Go along, get along oh, game. That's it. Go along, get along game. Why are intelligent people being silenced? So stupid people won't be offended. Trying to protect your name, friend. Trying to protect what they're they're doing, and it's not right. They're pushing an agenda. Facts, 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 facts. Is it okay for a woman to cover the bill on the first date? Depends on the situation. I wouldn't say I'd be 100% against it. I mean, it really depends. I mean, if the dude invites her to, to eat dinner, then yeah, I think he should cover the bill. She shouldn't, but... I mean, if y'all just going on as friends, then... I mean, I don't know. It got both ways. What are the three biggest flags in men? What are what? Three biggest red flags in men. You ain't got a job. You still live at home. And you don't take care of the kids you already got. <laughs> How you feel about stay-at-home dads? Stay-at-home dads? Yeah. They're kings, friend. They're kings. Because being a stay-at-home mom is a job, so... Yeah, Kings? Okay. Uh, do you feel like real tears are only shed by women by themselves, but if they do it in front of a man, it's for attention? No. I think that's false. Okay. But if a woman is sincere, I mean, if she's sincere, it shouldn't matter whether she's by herself or with the person that she's upset with. Hmm. Right. What's the worst part of dating in this generation? The trust and the loyalty, man. Damn. What that about there is no morals anymore? Right. I think the moral compass is totally went south. It's still going north. Uh, Facts. I think emotional intelligence and self control and discipline is missing. Right. Uh. Yeah. At what age does PDA go from cute to inappropriate? The what now? What age does public display of defection go from cute to inappropriate? When does it go from cute to inappropriate? Yeah. When you start, like, groping on each other? and Or you're saying what age? Yeah. 
I mean, kissing somebody, like, in public ain't really, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I mean. What do you feel like too inappropriate, though? Like, going a little too far? Like, groping somebody or, like, I, I can see smacking the butt. I can see that, but not everybody wants to see that. Yeah, go get a room. All right. <laughs> get, get your ass a goddamn room, man. <laughs> if you had the power to stop time, what age would you want to be forever? If I had the power to stop time, what would I want to be forever? Yeah, what age would you want to be forever? I don't know. Probably, probably about twenty-five. Okay. Uh, why twenty-five? Thirty. Why twenty-five and thirty? Because you've already pretty much experienced some of life and your eyes is open by that time. Or some eyes are open. My eyes was open by that time. Well, you say your eyes was open, like, to what, though? Woke, the world. Mm. I mean, just like, you know, like the news. They, they tell you what you want to hear or, or they tell you what they want, you know, pushing the agenda. That's... Negativity. I don't. I don't do all that stuff. Yeah, with vicious lies and heinous acts that right. they they're displaying in front of before our very eyes. It's right, like a right. Twist. I keep my mind focused on Christ and stay there, out of the way. I'm busy. Go back in there, please. Haley. Okay. Should there be an age limit placed on the number of times a person can get married? think so I mean people get married and they might marry the wrong person ah, okay. they might meet the right one right right but I mean I guess that yeah I guess that would be what dating's for so yeah if you're gonna jump into a marriage then I don't know I'm, I'm a little right right and wrong on that one right right uh uh huh. Why do you think a lot of women uh, are attracted to gang, or uh, thugs, or quote unquote bad boys, and entertain these guys? And they are in lust with these guys. I'm not gonna say in love because it's not love. It's in lust. Why are they in lust with these guys? Because they feel that it's fun. Mm. At what age do you think they should stop these games? She said I gotta pee, so I said. Uh, like, why do you think they're entertained by bad boys and thugs, though? Why do you, at what age do you think they should stop their nonsense? Stop the shit. What age do I think that they should stop? Yeah, stop the foolishness being in love with these thugs and gangbangers. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, some people are attracted to it up into their 30s. I don't really think that there is an age limit. Hold on. What? Yeah, do you think for the most part women fantasize on being with these guys, but they settle for the quote unquote nice guy? Some may. Hmm. I can't speak for all women. I don't. Facts, facts. Okay, okay. Have you ever been in love with two people at the same time? Right. You think that's possible to happen? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Hold on a second. Pause it again, Brian. Okay, okay. Uh huh. Facts, facts. Okay, okay. Do you believe women underestimate their value and women overestimate their value? Well, I do believe men underestimate themselves sometimes. Uh, I do believe that some women overestimate their self, but then you do have some women that underestimate their self as well. Uh-huh. Fake, fake. I think, I think a lot of females need a slice of humble pie. <laughs> right. Which men do too now. It goes both ways. Okay. Right, right. Both sides should use a humble pie. Uh, right. Should a man wife up a woman who had sex with a hundred dudes but found Jesus Christ in her youth? If you knew that, should that be a good wife for the rest of his life, though? Is that a yes or a no? I can't 
really say yes or no because I mean getting in, in a tub of water and, and putting your head up underneath it ain't gonna stop the temptations of sleeping with somebody I don't believe and if she's already slept with a hundred people then she needs more than getting baptized let me ask you this though right here do you, believe, or, or... Do, you, do you believe one <laughs> do you believe once a hoe always a hoe yes so hoes cannot yes. what about reform hoes can hoes be reformed or transformed well, I mean, once your body count so high, you can't go back from it, friend. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all that, all at this point, all they're going to do is manipulate the numbers. Now, do you believe women with terrible paths with men run to the church for security? Yeah, I, I, I could see that, yeah. And why, and why um, I'm guessing like for help or help of the situation or it really just depends on the circumstance. Do you believe church men raised in the church are like suckers because they don't understand game and female nature? They wife up these women and they have usually terrible marriages. Repeat that again now. Do, do you believe church guys wife up these women who had these terrible paths with men and they're suckers because they don't understand this woman's history or? No, because you got to learn everybody that you're with. I wouldn't call nobody a sucker for wanting to get to know somebody. No, I'm talking about marrying the women with these troubled paths with these high body counts. I don't believe they're a sucker, but I mean, I think he should know that she has a high body count before he puts the ring on it. Oh. Uh huh. <laughs> what, 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 what is a sucker in your humble opinion? What is a sucker in my opinion? A man who lets a woman. disrespect him and run the entire relationship and I have seen women do this to men and it drives me nuts it's like a woman degrading her man or a, you know something of that sort there was an example um just like I have an aunt for example and um, like my uncle works, but he gives her all his paycheck and she gives him an allowance. I don't, I don't believe in that. And to me, that's, that's just wrong. I mm. think everybody should be equally treated in a relationship. What's your example of a female being a sucker? Because they always say guys are suckers, but they never label females as suckers, which I find it funny because there's just as many female suckers as it is guy suckers. So what's your example of a female being a sucker? Just anybody, and I'm speaking male or female, just anybody being disrespected, um... But, I mean, sometimes your eyes are closed to a certain point until they get opened. I mean, I can't really call neither one a sucker. Because it could be a, just a, a bad relationship. I mean. Mm. Okay. Uh, all right, I'm going to give you a quote. I want you to say, I'm going to say true or false. Okay, you ready? Yeah. They say men are not responsible for women's promiscuity. Toxic feminism has taught her to be promiscuous and give her no regard for preserving her value. But it lied to her truthfully. Slutty women are undesirable for anything long term. Let her live her poor choices. It's not your job to save her. True or false? True. It ain't your job to save anybody. Yeah. The tr brand. This is another quote. The truth sounds like hate to those that hate the truth. Mm. True. True. <laughs> so, 
so I got a quote. This is a quote. Okay, I got a question. Another one. Uh, imagine crying at your funeral, then suddenly you touch your phone, your pocket, and your phone is no longer there. What's your reaction? I don't know. It really just, like I said, it just depends on the situation. I mean, depending on who the person is. If I'm crying, like if it's my daddy or something, I ain't going to be worried about my phone. Hmm. But you, if it's just somebody that I ain't never just an acquaintance with, I'm, yeah, I might go look for my phone. Do you feel awkward buying condoms in the presence of other people? No. Mm -mm. Shouldn't be when you're buying baby stuff and paying your child support for 18 years. Do he or she right. <laughs> that would be more embarrassing? <laughs> uh, now, there's a quote Poverty has created this false impression in many women that if a man doesn't give them money, he doesn't love them. True or false? False. Why false? Because it's not always about money, it's about love. That man shows you attention, affection. I mean, real love don't cost money. Material Ooh. shit can be replaced. Okay. Do you believe poverty is the reason why so many women don't know how to date anymore? Because they be, they date to be fed and they will go on seven dates in a week with seven different dudes. I don't think poverty has anything to do with it. I think it's a part of your race and what you're, you're brought up by. Mm. What you're taught. What, okay, okay. When you hear previously on TV, what, on what TV series come to mind? When I hear what? When you hear previously on TV, what TV series come on to mind? When you hear previously, uh, previously on, what TV series comes to mind? When I hear previously, what TV series comes to mind? Yeah. I have no idea because I don't watch much TV. Okay, okay, we're gonna skip that one. Was your partner still choosing a room full of ten out of ten people? I think so. Yeah. Do you believe introverts are shy sex addicts? True or false? True. <laughs> True. I think he's speaking from experience. Okay. Uh, <laughs> What's something you start to dislike more now that you're getting older? People that don't know how to drive. Yeah, I, I realize. I every time, I, every time I get in the car, I be praying because like we got so many uncivilized mutts out here that's not paying there attention. There you go. That's it. And uh, it's so dangerous out here. People are dying on the way to the gas station in car accidents. Right. It's right. Just, Anxiety is raising through the roof, so it's just ridiculous. Uh, right. There's a quote. I want you to say true or false. When you buy a used car, you have to pay the price for the damage done by others. You, oh, yeah. hold on, let me say it again. When you buy a used car, you have to pay the price for the damage done by others. This is not about cars. True or false? True. Mm. Okay. Now, same in a relationship. <laughs> Right, 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 right. Uh, do you believe attractive women juggle multiple men at the same time? At the time, whether they be texting or for sex, true or false? It could. I know you said true or false, but that could go both ways. Mm. I mean, it, it really just depends on how you entertain the situation. Do you believe kids need their fathers just as much as they need their mothers? Yes, I do. Okay, okay. Are you a homebody? Outside? I am. Yes. What's an area you lack in friendship? Uh, I'm very sarcastic sometimes. <laughs> What's the difference between living and existing? Like, existing is when you don't, you don't do anything, um... And living is like exploring, like, you know, doing things in your life. I, I, I don't know how to explain it. Doing things in your life, traveling, seeing the world. Um, just living is just being there. Like, nothing, nothing's fun. You never go anywhere, do anything. Uh, 
what's some pros and cons with being with a good man? Um, I'll say just personal experience for me. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not always right. So I always like when I, when I feel myself starting to flip my script, I'll ask him and he'll bring me down. You know, you, you always have two opinions is a, is a pro. Um, I don't know, just the mis misunderstandings uh, sometimes between me and my partner. Um, it, it can be a, a con because he sees things in a totally different light than I do. Um, I don't know. I think I think the good outweighs the bad in that. In a good man. Why do you think he doesn't it, degrade you? You say what? Excuse me. He doesn't degrade you. Put you down. He tries to build you up. Why do women complain about not finding a good man when it's when? Why do they complain about not finding a good man? But when they get with a good man, they say it's boring, or they blame the guy for some reason why it ended though. Because they don't want the uh, they don't want what comes along with a good man. A good man is. Um, I mean, mo most good men, I mean, yeah, you got some that go out and do things with their ladies and things like that, but I'm not speaking of club-wise or something like that. Um, hold on, repeat that question again, friend. I just lost my whole train of thought. I was saying women complain about not having a good man, but when they get with these guys, they say they're born or uh, they somehow can never make it work with these good guys. And they, always they ain't ready for it. Mm-hmm. That they ain't ready for it. I mean, some women look for a good man wanting him to do everything for them. But in a relationship, it's not about what he can do for you or what she can do for you. It's a partnership. It's a companionship. You both, so, I mean, it's not always going to be 50-50. Sometimes it's going to be, you know, 84 or 80-20, you know, where one slacks, the other one's got to pick up. It's, it's not equal. Right. And I think that's what some women look at is they think the man is supposed to do everything for them and it, it's it, it's not that way give one piece of advice to women it could be about anything love yourself okay okay uh what's your thoughts on people driving the car with the mask on with nobody else in the car and the windows up why <laughs> Why? I just think it's idiotic in my humble opinion. Right, right. To me too. I mean, you're not in the public, so why are you wearing your mask? If you still wearing a mask, two times. If you still wearing a mask, two times twenty four, you look very creepy. Right, right. And believe it or not, I, I see people with them still. Well, okay, 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 okay. Uh huh. Okay. Do you trust the government? Hell no. Excuse my French, but hell no. Why not? Why you don't trust the government? Cause I don't. They all full of lies. All full of lies. They tell, like I said earlier, they tell you what you want to hear. Yeah, what you want to hear? <laughs> I think so. I agree so too. Yeah. Uh, definitely agree. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when they tell you it's all good, that's when you should worry. It ain't all good. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Why makeup turns a three into the seven? Do you believe a makeup can turn a three into a seven, but it doesn't correct her crooked teeth? Yes, I do. Because uh, uh, makeup is a woman's natural filter every day. She can wear makeup and be whoever she wants to be. <sighs> so it sounds like to me, 90% of these women, you can wipe off their beauty with a wet wipe. Some of them, yeah. Some of them are naturally broody, but I mean, you know, just like I tell my, my friends in here, everybody's beautiful in their own way, friend. Everybody's beautiful. 
Yeah, yeah. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. He sees in me. He may not like me, but he'll like, you know, 